Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing this really cool slice animation in PowerPoint that's really easy, so let's jump right into it to learn how to do it. Okay, so we're going to just turn the layout to blank and make our text box where we're going to have the text animation. So you probably have your text already, so let me just quickly format this text box to Arial Black and just size it up. Um, and then here we go, let's go to shape format, align center and align middle and we can make this a bit bigger, a bit bigger as well and then go center to middle and then go align center, align middle again. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go control X and then right click and then go paste options and um, picture so we can go like that and then we're just going to go crop and just crop it there'll be a bit of fuzzy edges because we're, cre we're creating a picture out of the text so just make sure to crop it a bit more than you need to so that it sort of makes the sides straight if that makes sense um, this isn't important as important but it just makes it look a bit better so there we've got our text out so let's just click out and here's our text as a picture and what we're going to do is just go to picture format and then selection paint we're going to go Control c Control v highlight everything and then go line left line top now we're just going to select one of them and crop it and make it half, half the size so it will snap with that um, dotted red line so that it's easier to get a half and then we're going to select the other one and do the exact same thing just opposite on the other side now what we're going to do is just highlight both of them and go Control c Control v highlight the top two go align left align top and do for the bottom two line left and then line top okay now we're just going to take the, the just click on the first one and then go uh, just crop it to the center here so that's good um, now for the second one just uh, select under that crop again and then make it snap to the bottom so that we've got a uh, two, two two slices there on the top now for the second one we'll do the same just select the bottom and crop it to the bottom select the next one and select the next one and then go snap it to where we cropped it before so there we go we've got four slices you can add more slices or less slices whatever you want it's, it's your option but um, right now I'm just gonna do four because I think four looks pretty good and even numbers look better because the way the animation works then there'll be two on each side um, but it depends on how you're feeling so we'll just use the PowerPoint box select to select all the objects, go to animations, go fly in, effect options from left, go into this drop down box, show additional effect options which is just under the effect options in the animation tab, just click on this arrow going down this bit here and then we're just going to go smooth end, pull it all the way to 0.5. Now we're going to go open the animation pane and we're just going to work out which animations go first. So We'll want to um, we'll want to layer it so that the top one is the first one here. So we can click on the first one. Notice that's picture six. So just drag it to the top. Click on the second one. That's second, and we can make that with previous as well. And then check on the third. That's correct. And the fourth. That's correct. Now what we're going to do is highlight um, these two, and we're just going to make the effect options go from the right. So it's the exact opposite direction. Now we're going to highlight everything using shift, hold the shift and uh, do that apart from the top one and then go delay point, point 0.1. Now hold control and unselect that top one by clicking on it and then go point 0.2 and then unselect the top, the one that you, the top of the, you're selecting again with control and then go delay point 0.3. So now if we play that from our slideshow you'll see it looks exactly like what I showed you at the beginning and it looks right with this slice text animation reveal. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful, if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.